Hey everyone, welcome back to our uh, third video on um, how to bring images into Lightroom, edit them, and then export them for publishing, right? So this is our third video, uh, so we'll be focusing on how to export, right? So here we have our photo that is ready to be shared, right? Um, now for class, we've been using them in Moreau and maybe also putting them uh, into our Google Drive folders, but uh, we want to be able to share elsewhere if you want to. So right now, once you are sure your photo is ready uh, for export, so let's say this photo is ready, all I have to do is go to my film strip, right click, export, and then go to export again, right? Now, if you wanted to export both your photos or all your photos in your film strip, all you have to do is highlight them all, right? By either holding shift and clicking them or, you know, uh, command and clicking all of them also. So right click, export, export again. And now you have your export window pop up, right? For us, we're gonna export to hard drive. Um, and in this case, uh, the settings we've been using in class are um, without getting too technical, right? Without getting too techy, um, they are right here. So we export our images as JPEGs. Uh, quality around 80. We don't want to have our quality um, too high, so that some sites, if the quality is too high, believe it or not, some sites will uh, compress down the quality. So 80 is the typical amount that we find, uh, you know, pretty acceptable for our use. However, I've been seeing some photos getting really smushed down um, on Moreau. So maybe we'll have to lower that, but we'll, we'll play with it. Um, image sizing, right? We're gonna resize the fit with long edge, about 2,500 pixels and a 300 uh, resolution. So these are really the only changes you need to keep in mind. Um, you can take a screenshot here, or if you'd like to just refer to the, the notes on Canvas, we also have it there as well. Uh, once you have these settings done, you can just kind of save it. It'll um, it'll, be, it'll be the default settings until you change it next time. So you want, the last thing you want to do is make sure you have your export location. That's your top, um, your top uh, section right here. So you can export anywhere you'd like, desktop uh, or you know, documents, or if you want to go get really specific, choose specific folder and you can click choose and you can pick independently, right? Um, but for me, I'm just going to choose desktop because it's easier. Make sure you do not uh, flood your desktop with photos. Um, I've seen a lot of student desktops get very, very cluttered. Uh, so you don't want to lose it there. But just for this demo, I'm going to do this so it's easier. Again, if you put into a subfolder, you'll have to find it in a folder on your desktop. So keep that in mind. It creates a folder for you. Some students do this and they can never find their their, um, their fo photos because they didn't realize it was put into a new folder. Um, so I'm just gonna put demo pics and then hit export. And then we see up here in the top left, it's working. And let's see if I locate it on my computer. Yep, right, so we've exported them, both of them. Good, all right, so Right, nice and easy. Hopefully not too much work here. Um, now, if you run into some issues uh, with exporting, because either your files are not found or maybe corrupted, please click on the next video and I'll address that.